Hi, my name is Natalie Brewer and my pathway through a Masters of Teaching in the Arts really started from a place of necessity. And the necessity was to live a life more fully aware of myself as a global citizen and a citizen of life. You know, it all started three years ago when I was diagnosed with two different types of cancer. And before even getting surgery or chemotherapy, the first thing I did was immediately enrol myself in an arts degree. Because I knew that I was living a life that was half lived and education was my yellow brick road through a terminal illness. So having cancer, you know, it was actually a bit of a blessing in disguise because it taught me about how isolated and how small my world had become. I was a single mother living in a small house trying to pay and earn money for a pretty small existence and community was not my lived experience and I know that's the same for so many people in the society that we're living. It's systemic. You know, the world felt like it was something that was happening out there and I was disconnected from it and because of that I was dying. So when I started my BA, I, I could barely string two sentences together because of the chemotherapy drugs. But I got through those first 12 months because of the folio-based nature that art subjects afford. And I came to appreciate the way that the arts considers multiple intelligences. It's not just how well you perform on a test or how eloquent you are at writing academic essays. The arts awards originality and innovation, authenticity, and even vulnerability. It prompts meaningful connections between cultures and social structures. And I was rewarded with a constant stream of high distinctions because I used my assignments as a vehicle to connect my private world with the public world. And I believe that's what global citizenship is all about. The arts teach us to think globally about how our micro issues are a part of a global problem. How cancer, for example, links hereditary factors with environmental fa and pharmaceutical factors and political factors and social factors. And I'm proud to say that I've been in remission now for two years. And I share this experience with millions of people around the world who are asking themselves the same question that many people go through when they survive a terminal illness. And that is, what type of world do I want to keep fighting for? And for me, the answer to that question lies in arts education. In too many countries, across too many governments, the arts are being constantly downgraded, pared back and degraded instead of fully acknowledged for the incredible worth that arts and creativity bring to classrooms and societies everywhere. We live in a world right now which is largely driven by neoliberalism, which, influence our, which influences our citizenry to become more individualistic and driven by profit. And even our schools are becoming commodified as they are forced to compete with each other through high stakes testing. So I, I'm, I wanna get into the education system, not just to be another art teacher who teaches drawing and painting and the elements of design. I aim to use critical pedagogy in the art classroom to help students develop consciousness of freedom, recognize authority, then lead students to a continuous process of unlearning of learning, of reflecting, of evaluating, so that they can challenge the status quo and by doing so, improve it. Because what else are we here for? I mean, the arts are the perfect platform for students to consider the issues of power and privilege within local community, thereby shaping students' worldviews through an integrated sense of cultural representation that can renegotiate boundaries. I mean, I, I think of artists like Banksy, and Ai Weiwei and Marina Abramovic, or think about Frida Kahlo. These are our modern day heroes because their work crosses social and cultural boundaries and they remind us of our shared challenges and our global, global citizenship, which at the moment needs a stronger and more cohesive narrative. Art education has got a lot of work to do and I want to be there at the forefront of it, right up there with inspiring global educators like Andrea Zafiraku. And I want to use my education to actively educate students as citizens, not only in and for their own communities, but as bridge builders in a global world that needs the language of the arts now more than ever.